<clears throat> Are you serious? Get a cup of coffee. Get a huge cup of coffee. You're going to need it. As Boot Scootin', Nuke and Shootin', Putin has won again. 87% is what the Russian authorities uh, out of the Kremlin are telling us the total votes that went for Vladimir Putin. For the fifth time, he's been reelected president of Putin, Putin, president of Russia. It's another six years of Putin, which will take us to the Agenda 2030. He will take us into the Agenda 2030. He will get us through Apophis or Apophis, that asteroid that's coming on April the 13th, Friday the 13th, 2029. We will, unless something happens to Vladimir Putin, he will lead us to the Agenda 2030 of the United Nations. Could he be the leader of the UN? Could he be? The Antichrist. Well, let me just say this. Let's put a shout out right now for WWW. Actually, just go to ChuckDefense.com forward slash Paul. That's ChuckDefense.com forward slash Paul. That's right. Well, have you ever wondered whatever happened to that legendary Chuck Norris? I recently saw a video he made. I was shocked, really, because he's in his 80s, and he's still kicking butt and taking names and maybe could even take on Vladimir. Uh, what's even more shocking is he's stronger and he can work out longer than even has plenty of energy left over for the grandkids. He did this by just making one change. He says he still feels like he's in his 50s. His wife even started doing this one thing too. She's never felt better. And she says she feels 10 years younger and she looks it. What is this all about? Well, Chuck made a special video that explains everything. Make sure you watch it. It's in the link below the video. Click it. Watch it. Uh, it's a free video. Go to chuckdefense.com forward slash Paul. That's chuckdefense.com forward slash Paul. And by clicking on that link below this video, it will change the way you think about your health. Once again, that's chuckdefense.com forward slash Paul. Click on the link and the description below to watch the video right now. And you won't believe how simple this is. Just a reminder, the legendary Chuck Norris is 81 years old, and yet he has more energy than I have. He discovered he could create dramatic changes to his health, simply focusing on three things that sabotage our body as we age. So watch this at chuckdefense.com forward slash Paul. All right. Guys, uh, Vladimir Putin wins again. Well, everybody that he, that he was running against died. Mysteriously, in some cases, they were either thrown in prison and died or died and not went into prison. Some were poisoned. Um, and one guy got all three. Now let's talk. And that's Novanti, Navalini just before the election. Well, here's the deal. Uh, how, did, how did this happen? Vladimir Putin, boot scootin', shootin', nuking Putin, wins the election with 87% of the vote. The preliminary results indicate a huge victory for Vladimir, the biggest winning margin that he's ever had in the five times that he has won. Um now, there's still some protesting going on outside of the polling stations this morning and even outside of Russian embassies worldwide. But out of Brussels, the news is that Vladimir Putin has tightened his grip on power, claiming another six-year term as the Russian president after a brutally distorted election in which all serious challengers were wiped out before the voting began. With 50% of the ballots already counted, Putin has a total of 87.3% of the vote. Election officials announced turnout was at an all-time high in Russia at 73.33%, according to the latest figures from Russian authorities. Putin's victory was never in doubt, but this is the biggest share of the vote. He has claimed in any of his five presidential election wins since he first took power in the year 2000 at age 71. 
He is now already the longest-serving Russian leader since Joseph Stalin. And he could go down and beat the record and go down in history. Is this the new Russian Kremlin regime? Speaking after early results were announced, Vladimir Putin vowed to lead Russia to victory in achieving his goals, saying nobody in history has ever succeeded in suppressing the will of the Russian people. They failed now, they will fail in the future. The results more than met the objective of an overwhelming win to Putin's claim that Russia's wholeheartedly backed their leader and his invasion of Ukraine. The three days of voting were in exercised in pro-Putin mobilization and a test of loyalty for Russia's state apparatus. Uh, Nikolai Petrov from the Chatham House Foreign Affairs think tank in London, England, said the result made Russia a totally consolidated autocracy. In other words, it is a dictatorship for sure. Now, the election campaign, which saw three other candidates refrain from criticizing the president, was overshadowed by the death of Putin's biggest challenger, Alexei Navalny. Even with Navalny out of the way, Putin was taking no chances. On the first two days of voting, thousands of public sector employees, students, and workers from Russian corporations were compelled to go cast their ballots. If you worked in the government, you better go vote. Turnout was monitored by the management. Civil service employees were required to report back once they had voted. And in some regions, they were even expected to bring relatives, share their uh, geo locations with supervisors via a specially designed app to show that they were actually at the f- voting booth and, and, and show that they had people, family members they brought with them. Putin didn't have it all go his way, though. The intended image of humanity uh, and the unanimous was marred by dozens of attacks on polling stations. 20 different Russian regions, individuals either set voting booths ablaze or poured paint into the ballot boxes. Authorities asserted that the assailants, many of whom were elderly women, were acting on instructions from abroad. All involved now face the prospect of being sentenced up to five years in prison. The most significant pushback against Putin occurred on Sunday at noon when the Russian opposition rallied its supporters for a noon against Putin uh, protest. The initiative uh, encouraged people to go to the polls at 12 noon and simultaneously vote for any candidate other than Putin. The, The noon demonstration was aimed at challenging Putin's legitimacy, both domestically and internationally. Navanti's widow, uh, Yulia Navanti, uh, joined a protest in Berlin Germany after encouraging the noon protest and opposition move. She told journalists after voting herself that she had written her late husband's name on the ballot. It cannot be that a month before the election, during a campaign, that Putin's main opponent, who was already in prison, could then be killed as well. Thousands joined in a similar action around the world. Unusually large crowds were seen at polling stations across Russia, from the smallest Siberian towns to Moscow and St. Petersburg, as well as the Russian embassies and and consulates worldwide were protests going on from Paris to Brussels. This is a great opportunity to create the appearance that there are people who are not satisfied with the current state of affairs who are willing to unite for a collective action. And there are many of them, said Daniel, who voted in the Russian consulate in all ultimately uh, Kazakhstan. He declined to give his full name amid concerns over potential reprisals. And from the moment of the planned demonstration was announced, the Russian state mounted a concerted attempt to undermine it. Local authorities in Russia organized counterfeit public events at noon to distract the voters. And in addition, there were several rounds of deceptive mailings targeted at opposition voters in Russia. And the first was on Wednesday, falsely claimed to be from Nalvani's team announcing a postponement of the action. Nalvani's team quickly denied any delay. 
the second mailing sent out Saturday, aimed to intimidate voters with a message saying, Hi, despite the fact that you support the ideals of an extremist organization, we are pleased. You will vote in Moscow as every vote matters. We urge you not to succumb to the ideals of those seeking to deceive you and to vote calmly without any provocations. And so, again, a lot of, there was a lot of arm twisting, a lot of pressure being applied. There was some resistance. There was some uh, uh, protesting. Most of it is outside of the confines of the, of the borders of Russia. Uh, some protesting went on in Russia, of course, but a lot of protesting in embassies, Rus- outside of Russian embassies all over the world. So Vladimir Putin, boots, Putin, shooting, Putin, nuking, Putin. Yeah, it uh, it was uh, an extreme situation to say the least. Uh, uh, Putin wins big. We've got him for six more years as long as he's alive. He, like I said, he will take us into the year 2030. Think about that. Even if Biden was to be reelected, he'll only be with us through. 2028 if trump gets elected he'll only be with us through 2028 they'll have to deal with putin now the entire term in the white house and what will that mean well it depends who is in the white house really the approach will all be between who gets in and it's not just putin we're dealing with you got to deal with radical islam you do you have to deal with uh the uh, the situation uh, right now that's uh, the pressure that's being put on Israel, the worldwide pressure, uh, all the different things that's going on. You got the Haiti, the nation of Haiti out of control, completely out of control. Sri Lanka is just barely alive. Venezuela is so corrupt you can't stand it. There are places like Somalia where there's terrorist groups basically running the country just like Yemen. In Somalia, you got al-Shabaab. In Yemen, you got the Houthis. In Syria, you got al-Qaeda and the Iranians. Um, uh, and uh, in uh, Ham- Israel, you have Hamas uh, in, and the Palestinian Authority. And in Lebanon, you have Hezbollah that are in control. Uh, so, yeah, and then you could go on to, you know, in Nigeria, it's Boko Haram. Okay, and then floating around always is ISIS. They're in Iraq. They're in Syria. They're everywhere, really. And then you have to deal with also um, the Iranians who are funding all of it. So this is this is the real world. And then you've got to deal with Putin and you got to deal with China. President Xi, he's going nowhere. So the next president of the United States will have to face President Xi for his whole term and President Putin. For their whole term. And of course, the little dictator down there in North Korea, he ain't going nowhere either. Unless those three men die, the next president has to deal with the axis of evil. And you got to deal with the Ayatollah Ala Khomeini. He's not going nowhere either. So the four, the axis of evil, the four heads of the snake, you will have to deal with if you're the next president of the United States. Is it time? Is Apollyon about to come crawling out of the pit and bring about World War III? We write about it in our book, Revelation 9-11. Be sure you get your copy. They start shipping March 26th as Amazon will be releasing it. This morning, I seen we were number eight uh, in the category of church and state. Um, wow. Wow. Get your copy today. Order five copies. Order five because you're going to want to give four of them away. One you'll want to keep. The other four you'll want to give away to the people that you believe that could change their life. If they're Christians and they're just they're asleep, this book will wake them. If they're not saved, this book will probably help lead them to salvation. We even put the plan of salvation in the end of the book. Uh, we walk them right toward the to the cross as they're experiencing and understanding the woke culture, the World War III, the vortex of evil, the green religion, um, Apophis, um, the eclipses, uh, 
the signs in the heavens, the, the, the wars, the rumors of wars, the secret societies, uh, and, and the, the Great Reset, the World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab, you know, the, the British Empire. We go on and on and on and on and on. And yes, this man over my shoulder. Are you serious? Are you serious? Get your tickets right now for the webinar. I'll be talk a lot of what we just discussed here. I'm going to be talking about it because it is definitely signs. That, go to my website at publiclyprophecy.com. You'll see an orange banner going right across the, the, the right when you go to www.publiclyprophecy.com. You'll see the banner. Click on that little thin banner. Banner. Click it. It'll take you to. The, this page where the apocalyptic signs is. So click it. It'll take you here to get your ticket and you'll be ready to go because the webinar is four days away. What? Four days away. Are you serious? Four days away. We ain't got much time, guys. Let's get these tickets ordered now. Get it done now. Go to publiclyprophecy.com. Go to publiclyprophecy.com and get the tickets now. BP Earthwatch, Mike from around the world, Pastor Mark Biltz, are you serious, Doug Hagman, what, Rex Bear, it's incredible, it's incredible lineup, Troy Anderson, my co-author of the book Revelation 9-11, oh my lord, and, my, and, and Mike Kerr, Jeannie Moore, Bart Begley's documentary, and on and on and on and on. It's just unbelievable. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, yes, I'm serious. Cause there ain't no grave. You want to hold my body down. There ain't no grave. going to hold my body down. trumpet sound I'm gonna get up out of the ground there ain't no grave gonna hold my body down look way down the river what do you think you see I see a band of angels Down. No, there ain't no grave Gonna hold my body down Look down yonder, Gabriel Put your feet on the land and see Gabriel, don't blow that trumpet Until you hear from me Oh, yes.
Oh, that's right. Ain't no grave. No, Lord. No, 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 Lord. If you believe in the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, then I can guarantee you there ain't no grave that could hold your body down. I used to hear my grandmother sing that song. Um, wow. That song's probably about 100 and some years old. I think Johnny Cash might have been the best ever singing this, but you actually can uh, find several different really, really, really good artists who've sung that song. Pretty phenomenal. Um, wow. All right. Hey, guys, I'll be back with more current world events, how they relate to biblical prophecy. Like I said, don't miss this webinar. Mark Biltz, Doug Hagman, BP Earthwatch, Troy Anderson, Mike from around the world, Rex Bear, Mike Kerr, Jeannie Moore, yours truly, Pastor Paul, and my son, B.C. Begley's documentary. You don't want to miss this because I'm telling you, there is so much. It's packed with information and packed with understanding of the apocalyptic signs of these last days. It's all about getting right with God. We had several people get saved last night, praise God. Today could be your day. Give your life to Jesus Christ. He's coming soon. I'll be back.